Let's say you want to create, save, or send an email to your database. Our software lets you send an email broadcast to any group of your prospects, customers, or affiliates. Start by selecting Broadcasting from the Email and Marketing drop-down menu, then select Manage Broadcasts. Next, specify who you want to send the email to from the options under Select a List. You can select a list based on customer type, autoresponder, a previously created stored search, or by a newsletter you've created. By customer type allows you to send the email to your entire contact database, prospects, customers, affiliates, or unconfirmed clients. By Autoresponder lets you send the email to one or multiple Autoresponder subscriber lists. Just select the lists you want to add and click on the right arrow icon. By Stored Search will send the email to any contact found in a previously created stored search. By Newsletter allows you to email contacts who have subscribed to one of your newsletters. Remember, you can only broadcast to one group at a time. If you want to send an email to a list from customer type and send the same message to a group from newsletter, you will have to send them separately. Once you have specified who the email is going to, you can proceed to set up your message. First, select when you want the email to be sent. By default, it will be scheduled for immediate delivery. Then specify who the email will be coming from in the From Name and From Email fields. Enter a subject line. You can personalize the subject by inserting any of the contact merge codes displayed on the right. By default, your email broadcast is created in a text format. If you have created an HTML email using a program such as Dreamweaver, or you want to customize the look of your message, switch to the HTML or both format to use the visual editor. Next, enter your message body. You can either type it or copy and paste your message from another application into this field. You may want to use the Merge Code links on the right to insert specific recipient data, such as a customer's first name or today's date. Just click on the Merge Code you'd like to insert, and it will be placed in your message body. At any time, you can save your progress by pressing the Save Draft button. Once you're happy with the look of your email, be sure to check your message content using the Spam Assassin database tool. Don't forget to check your entire message for spelling errors or punctuation mistakes. Finally, make sure you have specified a proper signature, then press the Save Draft button to save your work for later, or press Continue Broadcast to send your email right away. You'll have one more chance to review the message before it is sent. After clicking Send Broadcast, you'll have five minutes to change your mind and cancel the email. To do so, simply click the Cancel Job link from the Job Status screen. This is also where you can view the status and delivery statistics on your broadcasts.